What's up guys, Tech Number here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Rank Grand Plus. Rank Grand Plus is a GUI plugin that allows you to add ranks permanently or with a time limit very easily, even if your rank plugin doesn't support temporary ranks. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Rank Grand Plus. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Rank Grant requires Vault to be updated and installed. And of course, on top of that, you'll need a permissions management plugin already for this extra GUI to work. I'll be using the LuckPerms plugin. For demonstration purposes, I also have LuckPerms chat installed just so we can easily see rank prefixes before my name in chat. To see what plugins you already have installed, visit the Install tab under Plugins. With the Vault and LuckPerms installed, I'll quickly create a few groups on my server that we can test the Grand plugin with. They don't give me anything special, but it should show the gist of it. These commands will depend on the plugin that you're using for ranks and what you want the ranks to do. I'll be using slash LP create group and slash LP group meta set prefix to set a prefix that will show in chat. If I type a message in chat, you don't see anything special. Let's go ahead and give myself a rank. The plugin only has three commands, slash rank grant plus, that shows us the plugin's information, slash rank grant plus reload, which reloads the plugin's config, and slash grant followed by a player's name. I'll use grant tcno, and it will open up the plugin's GUI targeted towards my player. This is probably the easiest way that you could possibly imagine to grant ranks. The GUI shows us all of the available ranks on the server. Hovering over each block tells us what group we have selected. I'll click on the admin rank. We then can select permanent at the very top, or we can define a specific amount of time that this player will have their rank, even if the rank plugin that you're using doesn't support temporary ranks. We can add anything from a week to a second for how long they'll have their rank, and then click continue in the bottom right when we're done selecting the right amount of time. We can then select a reason that we're making a change, I'll just select promotion. Then we can confirm or cancel. Once we confirm, the player we targeted will see a notification in the chat from Rank Grant Plus, telling them the rank they got as well as a reason. You running the commands will see a lot more in chat and see a log entry. Running slash LP user, my username info, we can see info about ourselves from the LuckPerms plugin. You can see we're in our respective group here. If this group gave us permissions to do anything special or appear differently, that would happen. If we want to demote the player, we can just set them back to the default rank, and they'll lose out on all of their permissions. I'll run the check again, and you can see exactly what ranks I have. Slash LP user techno info. Then I'll assign myself moderator for 10 seconds. We'll type something in chat, wait a few seconds, and we'll see that we're demoted back down to a normal user afterwards. This plugin is super simple to use, especially for your server managers. Let's have a quick look at the plugin's config. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Logs is a folder that contains logs from each day the plugin is used. If we open up the files inside, you can see exactly what commands we ran when. You'll usually see messages with a LP a log prefix in chat, and those are saved here. Data.yml is a file used to store info and shouldn't be touched at all. Messages.yml contains the language configuration. If you want to customize the plugin's localization and how it looks in chat, here is where you'd do most of it. Ranks.yml contains some config for the GUI. We can disable auto list of ranks to allow us to customize how each rank appears on the list and hide some of them if we see fit. Keeping it enabled means that every rank shows as the same thing in the GUI. If you do disable this, you have to add each rank below in the rank section. They have a couple of ranks listed here, but of course, you'll have to add each of your own. The last section, Permission, is where you'd enter the permission that grants the user their rank. Usually, this is in the form of group.group name, so for example, we'd use group.admin for the administrator group. Slot, item, name, and lore are all self-explanatory. Settings.yml contains a lot of localization for the plugin's GUI. In case your server is using another language, or you'd like to change how the plugin displays text in the menu, this is where you'd do it. You can also change the item that each command is displayed as, its name, lore, and even its position to reorganize the menu as you see fit. At the very top, we have commands grant and ungrant. 
These are very important. This is where we change the plugin to work with your rank plugin of choice. It automatically works with luck perms. Under Grunt, we can change set to add, which will add the rank to our player instead of just replacing all the groups they have already with just one. Under Ungrunt, we can change set to default to remove percentage rank percentage, which will only remove the one rank when it has expired. This lets users keep more than one rank at a time and makes life a little bit easier. Below that, we can change reasons and add our own. This is purely just for the log and for the player to understand why they're being promoted or demoted. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.